The Foundation's archaeology team carefully looks over a piece of land in southwest England. They know the land they're looking at will become a skate park in the future. As they sifted through the dirt, they realized they had decided to look at the area before construction began. They found something that brings to life the ancient burial rituals of civilizations thousands of years ago. Europe entered the Bronze Age about 100 years after it began in 3300 BC in ancient Sumeria, which is now what we call the Middle East. The Bronze Age began when people gave up their stone tools and weapons in favor of bronze ones. Britain had many of the raw materials needed to make bronze, which is made of 9 tenths copper and 1 tenth tin. Europe, the Bronze Age, began on the continent, specifically in Greece, in 3200 BC. It took about 1200 years for the Bronze Age to reach the British Isles, and evidence shows that Europeans brought their new tools with them when they traveled to the UK. Ancient graves have shown that a new population moved to the UK at the right time to bring the Bronze Age to the islands. Experts have found differences in the shapes of the skulls of people who lived during the Bronze Age. Portugal, Gibraltar, Orive, and parts of southern France, they didn't move to Central Europe in large numbers, but their ideas did. They got their name from the shape of their drinking cups, which looked like beakers. The Central Europeans who the original beakers had influenced, then moved around the continent and brought the Iberians' ideas with them. This happened around 2500 BC. Wessex culture began when the beaker people came to Britain. It was based on their burial sites, which they filled with valuable items from the time. Archaeologists have found everything from gold ornaments to battle axes and intricately decorated daggers in their graves. Excavating these barrows revealed that the Bronze Age people could make sophisticated objects. Some pieces also show that they probably traded with other advanced cultures of the time. The King of Stonehenge, a team from Wessex Archaeology, found the burial site in the summer of 2002. They found about 100 objects buried in the ground, including gold hair, arrowheads, pots, and copper knives. But the most amazing thing they found was a skeleton. The Amesbury Archer is a complete skeleton of someone who died more than 4,000 years ago. The Amesbury Archer's tomb was also interesting because it had many more Bronze Age items than archaeologists usually find in a barrow of this type. Also, the gold in the tomb was from around 2500 BC, making it the oldest piece of gold ever found in the UK. More tests showed more about the man who was buried near Stonehenge. The Amesbury Archer probably lived to be about 40 years old. He had injuries to his mouth and knee, especially his knee, which probably caused him almost constant pain. Experts think that the Amesbury Archer was a ruling class member during the Bronze Age. He may have even helped build Stonehenge, even though the site was marked during the Stone Age and the world-famous Rock Circle wasn't built until about 700 years later. In all, the Amesbury Archer's grave was, at the time, the biggest Bronze Age finds the country had ever seen. The sheer number of artifacts in the grave made it the biggest Bronze Age find the country had ever seen. For example, the town of Lechlade on the Thames kept a similar secret for thousands of years. In 2017, the local council gave the go-ahead for a project to fix a damaged civic building and add skating rinks. The construction site had already caught the attention of archaeologists because it was next to an area that was thought to contain an ancient barrow, and the area had already given up Stone Age and Bronze Age tumuli. Usually, the Beaker people buried their elite next to a cowhide rug. The leg late man, however, was buried with four of these rugs and the feet of cattle. Andy Hood of the Foundation for Archaeology said that the team took this as a sign that he was probably more important the other people buried with only one hide. All the other examples in the UK were of a single cow being buried, so the Lex Laid burial is the only one of its kind. Hood told Life Science in 2020 about this and said that he thought all of the animals might have died. The chieftain's goodbye. He said that it's possible that these animals were killed as part of a ceremony related to the burial that the beakers had also done. This man was thought to have been a chieftain. They buried him with other valuable items from his time, like a stone bracelet and a metal dagger. 
Hood said that burying a person costs a lot of money. However, despite all these gifts and supplies, the chieftain's grave was missing one important thing. Beaker burials usually included their signature pop, but there wasn't one with the skeleton. They found more than just a chieftain surrounded by treasures. They found another man buried in a sitting position in the same burial circle. The fact that he was so close to the chieftain raised many questions. The experts were able to figure out that the man was at least 50 years old when he died. Because of this, they thought he was a religious leader since other spiritual leaders from the Bronze Age were also buried similarly. One of the mysteries is what the relationship was between these two men. HUD said that because the supposed shaman was buried near the chieftain, experts thought that the two men may have been close. Others thought the cleric might have been sacrificed instead of buried with the leader. Hood said these theories weren't necessarily supported by what the team had found in the graves. Some British newspapers had suggested that he was a shaman, but there is no evidence that he was sacrificed. He also said that the theory wasn't necessarily impossible, but the archaeologists didn't think it was likely. The top half of the shaman's body was chopped off by a plow, so it's impossible to prove how he died. However, the doctor did say that sacrifice was a real possibility, even though it was probably just a theory. Hood also said that the shaman's unusual sitting position raises questions. The archaeologist said the shaman's legs were still there, reaching down to the bottom of his grave pit. We haven't found a direct parallel anywhere else in Bronze Age Britain. Still, archaeologists know that the site was important for at least a thousand years before the chieftains and shaman's burials. Once, a half-mile-long earthwork called Curses of the Site was an ancient monument. All things found around the skate park site come from the last 5,000 years. All of this came from a single three-year dig at the site in Lechlade. What started as a pre-skate park dig has turned into something much bigger. According to Smithsonian Magazine, the land has one of the longest burial histories in Britain, a history that will likely keep many of its secrets. The Foundation's archaeology team has finished its post-excavation report, written by volunteer experts. The statement said that archaeological work has shown that the Barrow Skate Park at Lechlade is likely to be one of Britain's most historically interesting skate parks. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.